Well, a um, NFL um, coach has resigned from the um, uh, the uh, Las Vegas uh, Raiders, and he resigned because he wrote emails emails about uh, uh, so-called homophobic homophobic and uh, about uh, well all these you know terminologies they uh, that they have uh, attached to this man um, but what 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 my um, what I want to say is how they they report this remember these people are journalists these people report news supposedly but they are not reporting news what they're doing is they are, they are manipulating the, uh, the language, and that is what they're doing. Let's analyze what, what happened. The guy, he is conditioned white, white. The guy is conditioned to heed uh, or, to, or to accept that he is superior, superior. He is conditioned to be something that he's not, an American, an American, a color, a color. He is conditioned to see others around him as inferior, inferior, and he has power over them. So he has to uh, rationalize that. And rationalization, as you already know, is a safety mechanism. Basically, what is happening is the CNN is utilizing this as an example for the rest of the conditioned white, white. So throughout throughout the reporting, they talk about names, sounds, NFAL, Raiders, Raiders, homophobic, homophobic in a specific sounds, but they never mention that he is conditioned white. But they do say that many of his players are, are LBGT, LBGT, and they just came out, they just came out. And the, the, now they're giving percent, percentage, 80% of his players are black, black. So as you see, they continue to mention, but they will not associate, never, no ones, that he is white, that he's a white guy, and he is the coach, and he is the one that he got fired. He never, it's a sublime sign. He never, they never associate whiteness with craziness. <laughs> and that is happening now in every single um, uh, 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 human in our population that is in control of information or power from doctors. There it goes, my AC. It never fails. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to shut the thing down next time I do a video. So as you see, from doctors to teachers to people who repeat on television, coaches, they are being destroyed little by little. Their identity is being completely destroyed by these repeaters on television, by the CNN, by the, um, uh, the NPRs, the Fox News, the uh, Bloomberg, and all these companies, they, uh, uh, they, they present information to the, uh, to the people of the United States of America, and the people of the world, by the way. So, so they not just attacking the United States of America. No, they attacking the Iberians. They attacking even the Irish and the Scots. Uh, one example is uh, uh, President Trump. President Trump is Scottish, uh, first born in the United States of America. My family has been here for a long time. It's been here for 500 years, but the Scots has been here for, for one generation, 75 years maybe. And those Scots now are conditioned white and they are also 
evangelize, evangelize. So in Scotland, they are the enemies of the English in, um, uh, in, and they speak their own language and they protect their identity. In the United States of America, they become white and NFL coaches and they are homophobics and they are evangelicals. <laughs> that is what is happening. And they utilize the language. They utilize the, the communication, how people think. People, people learn through their senses, to, through the eyes, ears, sound, touch, taste. That is how we human, how, how biology learns. Everything learns that way. And they know this and they utilize sound and, and visual aids to condition you. So, so when they say that the NFL coach, uh, he's a homophobic and he's a big bigot and everything, they utilize, they utilize code war, LBGT. But LBGT is a creation to condition you. So, so you accept that you are an LBGT. Racism, they confusing purposely biology, race, race, with ethnicity, way of thinking, grouping of humans. So when they say that you are a racist or someone is a racist, that is erroneous. Race is only one human race. We cannot be physically racist against one, uh, one another because we are one race, a human race. They will never tell you this. They will tell you that you are a color race, that you are different than the other guy. That is the purpose, to divide you. Ethnicity, ethnicity is, is how people think, language, religion, is culture, is how human identify with one another as in a group, like a motorcycle gang. That is ethnicity, a motorcycle gang, a group of, of, of humans they get together and they survive by being one. We are social animals. So when they say when they say that you are a racist, actually they are saying that you are a ethnicisms or ethnophobia or the same no different than when they say there is homophobia, ethnophobia. Phobia means rejection, that you are afraid. And that is what they're doing. They are, they, are, they are trying to make you afraid. And that is a natural human behavior. They're utilizing behavior in cases like this, basically in every case that I see on television, to divide you and to destroy, to destroy you. Ethnicism has nothing to do with racism. And that is how I created this word. I have never seen anyone use it, so I said that it's TM, mine. Ethnicism, racism, system, division. Um, when they tell you that you are a racist, go back and tell them, I, I cannot be racist because your race is the same as mine. Uh, and if they tell you, no, but you white, you tell them, no, I am not white. And if they tell you, you are black, you say, no, I am not black. And if, he, if he, they tell you, you are brown or yellow, whatever, you tell them that you are not a color. Tell them that. Tell them that you are a human. And each human has a very specific family line. And those family lines, pigmentation, of their skin change. It changed very rapidly. And one example of that is Prince Harry's of, uh, of uh, the United Kingdom. He is a red haired man. He married a darker pigmentation uh, uh, female and the offspring is completely uh, light pigmentation. So as you see, your family line pigmentation, skin pigmentation, change rapidly. 
the way we look at our bone structure change within three, four generations. So when somebody tell you that you have a specific race, yes, you do have one, the human race. That is what you are. When, when they utilize in CNN, Fox News, and all these information companies, uh, um, um, uh, terminologies to confuse you, make sure that you fight back. Do not accept, do not be a primitive man. Now, even doctors, men of science, are so screwed up in the head that it freaked me out when they tell me that a Haitian can swim farther and faster than the Cuban because they are farther than Cuba when they arrive at the United States of America. That is crazy. And these people are, are the best we have. These people are the one, they are, they are, they are uh, um, uh, 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 learning, learning science to help uh, the, uh, the fellow man. One, one person that says that, their credibility is kind of, is kind of weak. And uh, my response to that is 120 20 years ago, maybe, I don't know, 1900s, 1901, the barber was the surgeon. So as you see, it's all a mirage. It's all a creation on television. It's just frotons. So how to deal with that is up to you. But do not allow these primitive men they believe that they are superior, superior than you. Take control over you. Fight, fight back because you are second to none. Your biology has survived since the beginning until now. And for those guys that I call yourself LBGTs and ladies and what have you, uh, I'm going to tell you something. You are second to none because you are no different in biology than I or the guy next door. You are no different in biology. You have been procreated in advanced civilization like no other. The, the, the most influential humans on this earth has been with free sexuality they they do not see sex as as a, um, a a procreation tool they see sex as what we say before as a ethnic ethnicity product fraternization in between biologies from chimpanzees to uh, uh to zebras to dogs in between the same sex, male or female, is a natural thing. It has nothing to do with sex. Sex is procreation. That is also what they're doing. They're confusing sex, sex, a mean of procreation with, with fraternization or a natural behavior they all, all uh, animals have that that is to fraternize to to become an ethnic to be to to have that behavior of unity because they are social social animals social unity from wolf to cows to bisons they have the same behavior no difference than human chimpanzees uh, uh, gorillas everybody so so they they for you guys, they call you letters, you know, and accept that. Make sure that you understand the fraternization in between men, the love in between men, the fraternization, that behavior they allow you to survive as a, as a unit, male or female, has nothing to do with sex. Sex is procreation. Is another natural behavior, and it is our number one behavior. Sex is the only thing that we here for. Fraternization lead to sex. Sex is procreation. 
our number one job as a human is procreate. A number, the number one job of nature is procreate, sex. And it has nothing to do with LBGTs. As you see, you need to recondition yourselves and you need to fight back and do not allow any industrialist to corrupt ourselves, our population, the, the human population, and make a mockery of the first amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. We need to recondition the people who work at the CIA. We need to recondition the people who work on the Department of Defense. We need to recondition the people who work on the Department of Justice. We need to recondition ourselves to protect our Constitution. Because believe me, that doctor they tell us, they t told me the, the Haitians swim farther and faster than the Cubans. He actually believed that the Constitution of the United States of America is irrelevant. He just told me. And he told me, who is to say that George Washington was a good guy or a bad guy? That is how crazy these people have become, these men of science. They have been conditioned by universities, by Harvard University, by the universities in England and universities around the, the European continent. Our, our center of learning, like um, uh, colleges utilizing sports, to condition you, to keep you captive, to make you a follower. No different than the Roman Empire utilizing the Circus Maximus to bring the people in, to make them an ethnic group. And in this case, they are making many ethnic groups. Every single college colors is a different, different little world. NFL, same way, baseball, every single sport, basketball, they are making you something that you're not. Go out there and fight back and make sure they, when somebody calls you a name, a letter or whatever, you tell them, hey, stop right there. I am a United States of American national. I am human. I am in the American continent and I am on the planet Earth. And Pavel Aviator 1 told me so. <laughs> you can go out there and prove him erroneous. Saludos. And football is good. Go out there and play football. You will love it. Adios.